Yeah! No! <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Tifsa, otherwise known as my real name, David Tiefenthaler, and I'm here in Hustisford, Wisconsin. So I was checking on Google Maps, and I found an interesting area on Google Maps where two rivers converge. Sometimes that means fish. I don't know, let's hope. I'm here to catch something different. Look at the beautiful river behind me. Let's do it! That didn't take long. Yeet, bullhead. All right, calm down. Yeah, today might be a good day. Oh, what a beautiful bullhead. <laughs> Are you talking to me? All right, say bye. Bye-bye. Whoa! Let's get you on shore. A catfish on a spoon? Look at that! That is awesome! That's a big catfish on a spoon of all things. Well, you really hit it hard. You gotta get the hook out. <laughs> That's awesome! Catfish on a spoon! Oh, he's feisty. Let's see how it goes. You ready? Oh yes! Oh yes! Yes! I got you! Stop it, Pike! You're in! I got you. You count. Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! The Northern Pike! Yes! 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 Look at this guy. He's slimy and he's angry and I caught him. <sighs> Woo! Yeah. Oh, yes! She's 21. Yeah, there's a pike. I got it on camera. It was hooked right by the side of his face. They're aggressive right now. Oh. Oh, I got so excited I forgot to tell people how I caught these uh, fish I've been catching. Now the catfish and the pike. I was using this uh, fire tiger spoon and I did not let it get very deep. I don't know this area very well. I didn't want to get snags. I bet you it was only about a foot or two deep in the water. Also, if you can see, I have a tiny leader. I did not want to lose the pike if it uh, got close to the line and snapped it. So I'm using a leader to my main line and I'm using a spoon. It's like a perch colored spoon. It's uh, 
bronze on the back, not silver. Uh, this water is really muddy, so I guess I worked in the muddy water. <laughs> I'm so pumped. Yes, species 21. This is not a big fish. Yeah. <laughs> Caught a bullhead on the Wolf River rig. Let's take this off. You got to be careful with bullheads. Do you see this? The top of their fin, this guy, and these wide ones, if they poke you, it hurts. They've got venom in them, and it'll hurt, I think. I've never been poked, so uh, let's let's just assume that there is and not get poked by. Open your mouth. I got the hook out. Let me take it out. Come on, buddy. Yeah. All right, let's go. So I've caught some bullhead too. I might as well show you how I'm doing that. I'm using the Wolf River Rig. It's a rig I've used before. So there's a three-way swivel, and then there's two lines coming off the three-way swivel. The shorter line is this hook, because the longer line, there it is, is the sinker. You've got this worm dangling about a foot off of the bottom of the water, and that is very enticing instead of it being buried in the mud. Do you guys hear that? That's a bald eagle. Oh, nice. I've seen it twice now. Oh, yeah, I've seen it down here a bunch of times. It's crazy. <laughs> well, I'm going to call it a day. I snapped off my line, but uh, man, got that pike. Species 21 out of the quest for 50 while filming here in my home state of Wisconsin. Geez, that's a lot of qualifiers. All right, give me a number one. You're number one. Yeah! I gut hooked this perch right here on the Wolf River rig and I thought, well, I'll use it for bait then, for a pike. And I just had a really big one on. Yeah! No! No! Dang it! No! Ah! Oh. Shoot! Ah, oh, dang it. Dang it. That was a big pike. No! Oh, man. Dang. That's a big pike. Shoot. I had him. 